Mr. Arshima, you were telling me about how you started uh, working in films, that it was almost uh, a coincidence that you were not seeing films when you were young? No, uh, at that time um, I was grown up in war time, so it was very difficult to see movies. But uh, after war, uh, we, we have nothing to amuse us, so movie is the only one thing to amuse us. So generally, we young Japanese uh, like the films very much, every film. But I have uh, no special intention. Uh, to get in film world or to become a film director at all. I thought the film business is a very hard way to our ordinary life. And before you um, started making films, what did you think you were going to do? Mm, but um, um, when I was a student, I committed uh, with the uh, student theater and the student movement. So I know something about art, um, theater, um, literature, but at that time I didn't think this kind of art thing um, cannot to be a business of a man, man's life. Um, I think um, this uh, literature or theater or movie, this kind of thing is uh, too, too soft or too weak um, to do in my life. So you started making films and uh, to us who, uh, of course, before we met you in this place here in Montreux, we knew you through your films and one thing comes out first, outstanding of all of your films is uh, uh, your vision of sensuality. What, uh, where does that come from? What, where does your sense for sensuality come from? Mm, so, um, I became a... No, I entered film business because I didn't have any other job. I took uh, the examination of uh, the assistant director of Shochiku Ofuna Studio, and uh, I entered this studio. So, but as I told you before, I am not so interested in, not particularly interested in cinema. So, um, I thought, why I do cinema? Well, what is cinema to me? I think about it a lot. For example, other assistant directors who like the cinema very much, they don't think about cinema, or they don't think about the relation of cinema and them. On the contrary, I thought a lot about cinema and um, the relation of cinema and me. So it um, added some, something very too much, too much explanation, no, not explanation, but uh, some, too much theory, <laughs> so, so, theorical, and like that, um, other movies. And so, from, from the beginning of my director's career, I always feel uh, I have something different uh, to ordinary, ordinary cinema world. Uh, so, anyway, I wanted to make very peculiar film, but my own. Yes, but um, why um, you seem to have, in your films and knowing you as a person, quite a knowledge and quite an angle on the Western culture and uh, uh, its relation with Japan. Uh, does that have something to do with you growing up during the war? Yes, um, in any way, I think uh, there is a very big misunderstanding uh, exists in this uh, Occidental uh, world to Japan. Uh, you think uh, Japanese people 
uh, grown up uh, purely as Japanese. And after we learn something from Occidental culture. But it's not true. From the beginning, our grown up, uh, for example, we, are, we hear a um, song of um, Darabai, from European Darabai, and also we read the book uh, Gurim or Aesop, like that. And at, at the beginning of primary school, we learn Shakespeare. We, we are all Japanese grown up, Japanese culture and also Western culture. So not peculiar uh, Western culture. And so from the beginning, we are very, uh, Japanese people are very interested in our, our very strongly influenced by Western culture. But um, I have a special reason because uh, when I was 13, Japan defeated uh, in the Second World War. So we were very keen why we were defeated by European, by American. So we, we wanted to learn very keenly to European culture or American culture. And also we thought we had our faults of Japanese culture which was defeated. Uh, we thought uh, this is not only military defeat but also this is a cultural defeat. So we are very keen uh, to learn European or American culture. And when I entered uh, film business, I thought total Japanese cinema is very bad. Um, the biggest reason is always uh, Japanese uh, movies describe people um, very passive way. The protagonist is always passive, passive from uh, society. They are always um, not attacker, but always um, passive. Um, they are they always suffered by the war and uh, federalism of Japan and the poor poorness of Japan. These three things. Um, very close to every protagonist in Japanese cinema. So the director always um, weep, um, always very sympathized to these passive people. And uh, people want to cry about this. I don't like this passive way. I think human beings must be very independent himself, not be slave of society. In, in mentality, in mental. And so I want to change this situation of uh, Japanese cinema and also this cinema uh, situation of Japan. And so I, I um, of course, before I entered the uh, studio, I saw a lot of European or American cinema. And I uh, wanted to took uh, good thing from this uh, European culture and European cinema. Thank you.